I'm Claire Edwards from Ensemble Offspring and I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to write for percussion. The first instrument we're going to start with today is the marimba and this is one of my personal favourites. I'm going to be playing a little excerpt um, by Ross Edwards called Marimba Dancers for you to start off and this piece shows the complete range of the marimba. In Marimba Dances, uh, the composer has written for two mallets and with two mallets you can obviously only play two notes simultaneously as you can see here. I can also play just a scalic pattern or I could also play a chromatic pattern. And what happens when I add another two mallets is that obviously I have much more opportunities to play more notes simultaneously so I can play a four note chord with four mallets I have the possibility to change the interval between the two sticks in each hand so don't think that you just have to keep the same interval all the time if there's enough time I can actually move from say a C major chord in root position to first inversion second inversion and then root. So I can actually do this quite quickly. So as you can see I'm actually moving the distance between my sticks from what we call a third which is quite a small interval to a fifth which is a larger interval. I can also do up to about an octave. So you see here I'm doing C. It is actually possible to do quite a, a wide interval um, between the two sticks in each hand. Something also to be conscious of is that it's definitely possible also to do, say, a scalic or chromatic figure whilst holding four mallets. So as you can see, it sounds pretty much exactly the same as when I have two mallets. So at the moment, I'm using what I would describe as medium mallets. These have a rubber core usually and they've got wool woven around them but it's not too thick so it's still possible to get a good amount of articulation. In a loud dynamic and in a soft dynamic it's also quite a nice sound so they're, they're good medium mallet. I can also roll and what happens when I roll is that it's kind of the equivalent of a bow, long bow on the violin or say a held note on the flute it makes the sound last for a long time. As you can hear with a marimba, the sound doesn't naturally resonate for such a long time. So we need to roll. To make a nice phrase. These mallets, as I said, are medium. I've also got over here some hard mallets. Now these are just without the wove uh, woven wool around them. You can also use similar mallets on the xylophone, so you can use the top register of the marimba in almost exactly the same way that you would write for the xylophone. If I play marimba dances now, the opening passage, so you can hear straight away there's much more attack on the notes. So with hard mallets, I would say rolling is probably not such a great idea because you can hear every single attack. And if I do this with my medium mallets, so straight away I think you can hear the difference. And then I've also got these very soft mallets, which as you can see are much bigger, so they've used a lot more wool to weave around, and so they're much softer and also heavier. These would usually be used more in the low register of the marimba, and they provide a very mellow tone. Obviously these would also be good for rolling with. A 
as you can hear, they can go very soft as well, which is a nice um, variation to the other types of mallets that I showed you before. As I said before, when I have four mallets in my hand, I can play four notes in a chord simultaneously. It's important to remember though that I don't have ten fingers like I do when I play the piano. So although you can maybe map out your composition on a piano, you have to remember that the marimba only has the potential for two notes in each hand simultaneously. So it's the equivalent of, say, practicing on the piano with two fingers. So make sure that you try that out on your piano or maybe on your marimba if you have access to one or even on a xylophone or a glockenspiel um, before you go ahead with any certain technique on the instrument because it's much more limiting in a way than a piano and a lot of people think of the marimba as similar to the piano and aside from the fact that it looks like a piano there aren't so many similarities in the way that you would write for the instrument so once again I can only play a four note chord at any one time. I can also do a ripple effect on this chord or an arpeggio so I can actually do this all the way up the instrument. And remember before I also said that we can do say a melodic figure with the two inside mallets. I can also play say a chord in the left hand, a two note chord and a simple melody in the right hand. I think the important thing here is it needs to be a simple melody because I'm only going to be able to use one stick so it can sound very um, stilted if it's too fast. For example, if I've got this in my left hand, that sort of thing can work but if I try to do something very um, detailed in my right hand, straight away it's quite awkward and it's quite static and it's not really marimbistic. So um, just try and keep those things in mind when you write for this instrument.